All right, so good evening, everyone. Good evening, Rosa Frank. How are you, everyone? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Wednesday, all right. All right, so we missed you yesterday, Mr. Frank Gonzalez. <laughs> and some of you yeah. who were to join our other. Yeah, I guess it was like the first time you missed the class, right? But I understand, don't worry about it. I'm not judging you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not judging you at all over here. That's not the intention. That happens. All right. Family business, or I would say uh, job business. So that's why. All right. All right. And then we have some guests over here saying good night. <laughs> good evening, right? <laughs> okay. That's one second. You say Let goodbye. Me <laughs> yeah, goodbye, right? <laughs> yeah, last time someone said to me just at the beginning, right? Good night. I was like, okay, you wanna go now? <laughs> yeah, that happens. All right. Nice. <laughs> That's why it's good to know the difference, right, between good evening and good night. Yeah. Yes. Trust me, you have yet terminado. You know, I have already finished studying 20 levels in, of English when somebody told me, no, you don't say good evening. <laughs> you say good, I mean, you don't say good night, you say good evening. <laughs> that, it's true, it's true, yes, it's true. Okay, let me get the presentation for you. One second, okay. All right, yeah, I found it, it's over here. And uh, I'm gonna share the screen in a second over here. It's pre-intermediate, yes. All right, so of course, as you may have guessed, I need to start with this, all right? A friendly reminder, you know, that's what people say, right? But in the end, it's just a reminder, all right? But friendly means, you know, I'm being courteous and that's the right way to say it, friendly reminder. Or I can also tell you uh, an FYI, yeah, FYI. Okay. I sent this this thing into the chat. Creo que ya les había mencionado el significado de FYI, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa? Para que usted esté al tanto, right? For your information. I'm sending this into the, into the chat in, in Zoom, all right? For your information. Or some other people also say, cuando le dan así un aviso o preaviso para mantenerlos al tanto, you know, they have to keep you updated, they tell you uh, the heads up. All right? Heads up. This is just, or these are just the heads up, all right? Para que usted esté así como al tanto, all right? I would say it in Spanish, right? I think it's a little bit uh, uh, rude, ¿verdad? Para poner, para poner cara de, de, de you know, that you're alive, people say, right? So, but I don't want to say that to you, right? <laughs> okay. So today is Wednesday, December 9, 2020, of course. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, uh, I'm not a soccer fan, but I can say that El Salvador against the United States, it's just, I feel like shame already, okay? <laughs> but I mean, that's not the main topic right now. So tomorrow, Last day, we're gonna say hello, we're gonna say good evening and good night for the last time, okay? And uh, the platform closes close at midnight, which is 12 a.m. That's it, that's all I gotta say over there. And if you haven't completed this, be careful because the platform is a little bit tricky because everybody is going to start working. I mean, I would say if you haven't had the time, so it's totally understandable. But my point is, it's going to get like El Boulevard de los Proceres, El Boulevard de los Héroes, or El Boulevard del Ejército, you know, like around 11 p.m., right? <laughs> the rush hour, the La Hora Pico, rush hour, right? Rush hour. So be careful with that. So that, that being said, take a look at this. If you go to the uh, platform, it says that it closes in one week, but this is an error. This is internally for people who work at Ingles Corporativo, meaning my bosses. 
they're going to close this until the 19 because they need, they need to get your scores. And by the way, if this is the first time that you're working, I'm sorry, that you're studying at Inglés Corporativo, you need to fill out a form. O sea, tiene que llenar sus datos otra vez and send them back, right? So and that's the way it is. Okay, that's it. Let me share the screen again and let's get down to business. O sea, vamos al gran. Let's go straight to the point, all right? Here we go. As you know, Christmas holidays are around the corner and I think that's why it's important for us to do the following, all right? This, recharge your batteries. Esta frasecita que dice once can be replaced, es decir, puede ser reemplazada, can be replaced with a possessive adjective. You can say, I need to recharge my batteries. You say my. Or I can say, hey, Frank, you look tired. So I think yesterday, uh, I mean, I would say, you, 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 you look very fresh today, Frank, I would say, right? Yesterday, you recharge your batteries. Okay? All right? And I would say everybody after tomorrow is going to recharge their batteries. Okay? Right, because you're not going to be from 9 to 10 uh, p.m. over here studying. You're going to be doing something else, maybe sleeping, I don't know, or watching memes, viendo memes, I don't know, or just studying. Okay. And look at this image, all right? Look at this image. <laughs> what do you see in this image, by the way, my friends? What do you see? <laughs> Is there something weird about this gentleman? <laughs> People go to the lunch hour, right, to the lunch time and never come back to the office, right? <laughs> that happens over there. You see? It says, I have uh, the, the lady. The, no, listen, please. The lady is speaking to him. And then she's telling him, I have nothing against you recharging your batteries. I just think you should do it in your own time. Which means that these are working hours. So, horas laborales, working hours. All right. So, this guy has a newspaper, some chips, some snacks, and he has a radio over there listening to music and maybe he's drinking a cocktail over there. No es una gaseosa la que está bebiendo, ¿verdad? It's no, it's no soda over there, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's why this guy is taking this very personal, right? So it's, he's recharging his batteries. Okay, and this is going to be you in your sofa on Friday, right? Recharging your batteries. <laughs> nice. And it's to rest. Yeah, as you can see. Thank you. I, I, I'm about to tell you what that means. Thanks for the reminder. It means es una forma informal de decir descansar. Informal to rest and relax in order to regain energy and strength. Okay. Example: We took a nap after work to recharge our batteries before going out dancing. Okay. Like we also say in Spanish, right? Un pestañazo, something like that, right? That's what people say, right? So that's what you do to recharge your batteries for 20 minutes or something like that. If you're lucky to be working from home, that's what you should be doing because next year we don't know, right? <laughs> we don't know, right? We, we get back to normal, so. Okay, sorry about that. If you already took your notes, all right, let's, I'm going to move forward over here. So I encourage you, o sea, los, los animo, that on Friday and whenever you have the time, recharge your batteries, all right? Reading a book, talking to your family, just not doing anything over there, all right? It's up to you how you do it, going to church, you can do that too, all right? So no problem. I remember that yesterday we were doing this reading and today we're gonna continue with this. All right. So remember, this is a, a rhythm about stay at home dads. And the point is, what's changing, you know, in the 21st century in regards 
what I would say about family businesses. You have this gentleman, William Chat, and you have Daniel Evans and Roberto Garcia. These gentlemen do, do not work at all. I mean, outside their, their, um, their houses or, or outside their homes, but now they are being uh, housewives, or in this case, house husbands, right? Pero no decimos house husband. We say stay at home dads, all right? That's what we say. Amo de caso, or de casa, perdón, es stay at home dad, okay? That's the translation, my brother. Ama de casa, you say housewife. All right, housewife. Okay. For example, I, I remember this. So Lorena, you had a housewife, a wife, a mother, etc. Right? Work. Yeah. Yes. So what you're gonna answer is this. Okay, and let me just go full screen over here. Take a look. For exam purposes, or says you está haciendo un examen, it's better to do it this way. Okay, to go straight to the uh, questions, okay, or to go straight to what you have to answer. And that's the best way if you're taking an exam. Or in this case, if you're completed the platform. O sea, váyase a las preguntas de una sola vez sin leer nada. That's the best way to do, all right? Uh, at least for me, that works for me. It says, read the interviews, check the correct names. We have William, Daniel, and Roberto. So we need to identify that this is Mr. Evans, Okay, this is Mr. Chan, and the last one is Mr. Garcia. Okay, what they uh, three have in common is that they are stay at home dads. All right, son amo de casa. And if you want to understand the rhythms the first time, uh, it's better if you read in your mind silently. And if you don't understand a word, just underline it. Imagine that you don't know the meaning of together. You just underline it. That's okay. You just can go back to this later. So it's not a good idea, my friends, to uh, look for the words in a dictionary or just to uh, look them on, on the web, on the internet. Every single time you don't understand something. No, it's better if you try to guess the word in context. O sea, hay que entenderlo por el context. That's the way it is. But for academic purposes, let's go ahead with the auctions over here. And let's see, uh, Mr. Mauricio Lima, could you please help us with the statements over here? One, two, three, four, and five, sir. If you don't mind. All right, number two, please. Who has an only shield? Mm -hmm. Who has a stressful carry? Okay. Who seeing it's hard to stay at home? He who has a wife with a great job. With a great job. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Who's a, who has an only child, two children, a stressful career? Uh, who thinks it's not easy, right? It's hard to stay at home, you know. Husbands say, ah, it's easy to stay at home, you know, doing the laundry, taking care of the children. No, 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 that's actually very difficult. I prefer to be working, you know, breaking my back outside the house than being at home. That's, that's, that's a reality, all right? So, now we know that we're talking about William, Daniel, and Roberto. Now let's read this, all right? I know that yesterday we began reading this, so Lorena helped us read the introduction, and then she read the, the paragraph over there. So right now, I'm just going to do that for you, and I'll be choosing three volunteers. You're going to help me read William, uh, the other guy, Daniel, and, Ro and I think it's Roberto, right? Yes, Roberto Garcia. Yeah, thank you, Frank. You're going to be the very first one. Why don't you help us read, Frank, uh, the introduction over here, the one that says families in the United States, and then the Mr. William Chan's info, please. Thank you. And having a great time when the kids are in school. I do housework or young child goes to school part time. When I peep her out, I love the one in on one time with her. Then when my two sons get home from school, we all play together. Why do I stay home? 
well, I wasn't happy at my job. It was pretty stressful, in, in fact. Okay, thank you, sir. And let me see who else raised his hand besides you. Uh, Mauricio, thank you, sir. Go ahead, please. Uh, paragraph number two, please. It's a challenge, <laughs> Mr. Lima. It's a challenge. We have they don't go to the school yet. I never have time for myself. That's not, that's not easy. But my kids are growing too fast. I don't want to spend time with when they when they are young. My life grows are every day. I think it must be that this is something is hard, but it's all it. That is true. Thank you, sir. And one last volunteer, but it, right now I, I think it's better. Yes, Janet, go ahead, please. Thank you. In my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, there aren't many dads in the park with their kids on weekdays. Nearly all of the parents are moms. I had a stressful job before and didn't have a lot of free time. I hate, I hate it. We have a daughter and now I am spending more time with her. I love that I am enjoying my freedom from work, but I'm also working very hard. Thank you so much, Bianet. Uh, I hated it, we would say, I hated it, right? Because it's the past tense, so I hated it, you may say. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you see that the dog actually replies to me. Okay. We got to do this quickly because I have a lot of activities for you. And then uh, let's see, I need a volunteer who can actually help me. Uh, let's see with number one, two, and three, please. Okay. If you already participated, so no problem over here. But if you, if you would like to help me answer who has more than one children, is it William, Daniel, or Roberto? If you don't remember, excuse me, Lorena? William. Yes. How many children does he have, by the way, William? He has a daughter and two men. Two sons, right? Sons, yeah. Yes, he says here, my one of the youngest child goes to school part time when I when I pick her up. Yeah, thank you because it, it doesn't really say uh, that she has. I mean, he has a daughter. But it says when I pick her up, which meant it's a daughter. And it says my two sons. That's great from you, by the way, Lorena. That's great. Who has an only child? Roberto. It's Roberto, by the way. And can you please tell me where is it? Over here, right below. Where can you find that information, whether? He say I have a daughter. Correct, correct. We have, says, sorry, we have a daughter. Yes, yes, he says like my wife and I have a daughter. Thank you. All right, an only child. Remember child means hijo o hija, right? Child. But if you say kids, it means niños, right? You can say kids and also children, right? Children, right? I, imagine this, uh, imagine that you are, let's say 70 years old, 40 years from now. So, or 20 years from now, etc. You can say, uh, I have three children. Maybe one is 40 years old, the other one is 35, and the other one is 30. But for you, you say children, right? And the translation is not niños, it's hijos e hijas, right? Children. So that's why we got to be careful with this. Now let's continue. Uh, who has, a, a, oh, no, I'm sorry, who had a stressful career, but no, not anymore, a, a stressful career? If you don't remember, you gotta scan the document and just to look for this. Roberto. No, William. William, William right? Chan. He says over here. Yeah, it's Mr. Chan. He says, I wasn't happy at my job. It was pretty stressful, in fact. But what is funny about this is that Chan quit his job because it was too stressful. If we do this, we, we die out of starvation. Nos morimos de hambre si yo dejo el trabajo solo por así, 
Yeah, that it doesn't apply over here in El Salvador, right? It doesn't really apply. All right, so number four, who thinks it's, it's hard to stay at home? If you don't remember, let's get back over here. Take a look. Um, but it's worth it, correct. Pero vale, vale la pena, vale la pena. All right, it's worth it, you can say. Worth it, vale la pena. Okay, like, like, can I, can I, I can tell you this. It is that in English, online at this hour, it's hard, but it's worth it. Vale la pena. Okay, that's what I would say. Working at this hour for me is hard, but it's worth it. Okay. Let me just mute uh, some of your microphones. Just one sec. Um, hold on. I'm going to mute someone over here. All right, that's much better. Sorry about that. You're still seeing the screen, right? Because let, let me hide this, all right? All right, so the last one, please, uh, so we can move forward. Who has a wife with a great job? O sea, que la esposa quizás gana bien y le, y le agrada el trabajo. I don't know. Over there. Maybe she makes a lot of money, right? So who is it? Is it Daniel, Mr. Chen, or, or Mr. Garcia? All right, so it's canned information. That's the ability that we're practicing right now. Like when you go to the supermarket, they scan the, the groceries over there. That's what I'm doing because I don't really remember. Okay. Uh huh. Mr. Daniel Evans. That's correct because it says over here, right? Uh, Frank also, my wife, my wife loves job. her job. Correct. Yes. Remember, this is not a memory test. Okay, it's not a memory test. It's just reading skills, okay? And as I said yesterday, when you read silently, you do it for comprehension purposes, to understand what you're reading. But when you read aloud, just right, like right now, you do it to practice your pronunciation, okay? Let's move forward over here. Thanks, thanks. I, I do appreciate your participation over here. Now, there comes the funny part from you. Uh, if you have the time right now to get a screenshot of this with your cell phone or your, or your uh, computer, do it right now, please, okay? This is going to be the first activity you're gonna be uh, practicing in purse in the breaker room. And it's a, it's a conversation, as you know, I, I'm a fan, you know, of, of conversations, as you have noticed. And this is about the present continuous. And this conversation is interesting, by the way. All right, this one, that's the first one. I have a second screen and that's what you're gonna do. This one has to do with family members. I think I, I like this exercise better because you gotta think a little bit, right? For example, you can say, Joseph is Maria's uncle. And you just gotta use this word, niece, right? Niece means sobrina, right? Nephew is sobrino, right? Joseph is Maria Sanko. So we have Joseph is Maria Sanko, which means is that Joseph is the uncle and Maria is the niece. So you go, Maria is Joseph's niece. Okay. And then you're going to do the same for number two, three, four, and five, and six. But first of all, you're going to practice this conversation in person. All right. So let me open the rooms. So you can practice the present continuous conversation and then just to practice the family member sentence over there. Do you have any questions about this or everything it's, it's okay for you? No questions for me right now? Everything is okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, here we go. There's going to be just one group of three, which is Anna, Jacqueline, and Carla. The rest, go ahead, please, and you're just gonna have a prayer. 
Noemí, Janet, Alma, Ana, Lorena, Mauricio, Fernando, and Frank. And Ernesto, please try to work together with us. Now just uh, wait a couple of seconds as I'll send this to you, okay? To bed Three? after midnight every night. He really? said, Joel, really? What do what doing this summer? Is what doing this? I take in class two. I take si, class two. Uh -huh, si es continue. No, they aren't. My brother is. On vacation on now, vacation. but he looking for a part-time yes, uh, part job here. What about okay. your sister? Um, She's working. She's working. <laughs> yes, she is. She has a part-time job Mommy. at the university. What about you, Joel? What about you, Joel? Don't worry about that, no. Don't worry about that. Uh -huh. Are you in school this summer? Yes. And I'm yes. studying. I'm studying two language. Oh, thank you. Language. Sí. Oh, oh, taking French and Spanish again. Taking. Well, I'm taking Spanish again, but I start in Japanese. Starting Japanese. Uh -huh. Really, that's exciting. Le dice que es excita, realmente excitante. No, no, no. Emocionante, que... emocionante, ah, emocionante. Emocionante. Uh -huh. emocionante. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's something else. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> o sea, da otro contexto entonces. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you can say the same thing, but in a different context, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Qué the same vergüenza. word. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's okay, bueno, don't worry about it. I learned. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. We, um, I'm there Joel are... and you are. En la siguiente. Sí, taking classes too. Y luego, no, they are. My brother is on vacation. I'll be, but he, but he looking for a part-time job here. Here, sorry. And the next, what about your sister? Is she working? Mm -hmm. Is she working? Yes, she is. She has part, a part-time job at university. What about you, y'all? Are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. And starting to language. Yes. And don't reply, oh, I taking French. 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 No. Ahí yeah. es una pregunta. So, are you, right? Uh, do you, are you, are you, are you taking French? Oh, are you are taking you. French and Spanish again? Are you, are you taking? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm taking Spanish again, but I'm starting it. 
Mm -hmm. Ahí se pronuncia starting, eh, Francisco. Yeah, you can say starting or you can say starting. It's up to you. Okay, starting. starting yeah. mm -hmm. Really, that's exciting. Starting Japanese. Okay. Okay. That's exciting, uh, right? Uh, just one thing. That, that, that was actually perfect, what you just did right now, Frank. That's, that's good. Uh, take a look at the word language over there. It's plural. We got to say languages. 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 languages, yes, languages. Because you say, I'm studying a foreign language, un idioma extranjero, right? Foreign language. But in this case, if you're studying French and Spanish, you may say, I'm studying two languages, okay? Like you say, I, I eat two sandwiches, <laughs> okay? Two sandwiches. Just like that. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. a good example. <laughs> <laughs> Can you yes. practice? Um, Do you want practice in the room? You should practice it, you should practice. Yes, yes. It's your turn and a root. Okay. Uh, hello, Janet and then Nami. Hello, hello I'm sorry. See? Uh, there's a second activity that you, you can do too. Okay. okay. It's this one. Take a look at my screen, please. Look at my screen, please, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh -huh. This one has to do with family members. No sé. Yo ni en, España, ni en español sé, ¿verdad? Muy bien distinguirme, pero en inglés más o menos. <laughs> yeah, I'm honest with you. This is a little bit difficult, right? It's a little bit difficult. Okay. <laughs> All right. Peter is... Is husband... Is... Is... I think husband, that is least Husband... I, Husband, ¿de quién puede ser Liz? Sí, Husband, Liz, ¿por qué está? Ahí, como está hablando de ellos, o sea, estoy hablando de mis hermanos, es they, they doing, what they doing. What they doing this summer? Why are, right? Why are they doing? Uh, why, why are? Sí, sorry, mm -hmm. they doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> let me just, yeah, surprise, right? <laughs> let, but let me right. tell you something. Eh, if you want to say that informally, that's okay. That's why people say, what you doing? What you doing? People say that. Mm -hmm. What you doing right now? What you doing? They don't say, what are you doing? But don't, don't, don't say that. But people say, what you doing right now? What you doing? That's what you say, right? Pero no, no, no está hablando de, de ellos. Uh, which, uh, what about your sisters? Or which one? Which one, Frank? In the, in the tree? Joel, really? What? Oh, yeah, really. What? Uh, let's see. Uh, let me just go What are they doing this summer? My, bro my brother and sister are staying with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. Really? No, no, he's talking about you. You. What are you What are you doing this summer? Are you, are, okay. uh, and he's asking, are you taking classes too? Oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, they are. And my brother is, um, no, no, no. In that case, yes, he's day, right? Really, what are they doing this summer? Are they, take, are they taking classes too? And then they say, no, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he's, in, uh, he's looking for a part-time job here, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, okay. you're right. Entonces estaba, estaba bien, estaba correcto. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Okay. No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he's looking for a part-time job here. Grandparents. Frank, Frank. 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 We have two children. We have two children. That son and daughter. Okay. We have. It says. Uh, we have a son and a daughter. Peter, a uh, Peter, Elise. We, that we have to use the, the information that is uh, at the end. Son and daughter. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, if they say we have two children, we can say 
we I have, have you have a son and a daughter. Yeah, so just like that. Yes, we have a son and a daughter, so we have two children. What you're doing over here, you are being specific. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Because if you say, I have two children, but you don't know if you have three or two or four or more, right? Mm -hmm. So you say, I have a son and a daughter, so I have two children. My wife's father is a painter. Now, father in law, Pedro. Entonces, my wife. So you're the husband, right? You're the husband. You say my. My, my wife's father. My wife's father. Uh -huh. My father-in-law. It's a painter. Yeah, my father-in-law is a painter. Yes. No, it's, let me just give you some, some, some clues over here. It's, it's difficult, or I would say more complicated to say, my wife's father is a painter. You don't say that, actually. You say, my father-in-law, right? It's a painter. My father-in-law, it's a mechanic. It's a doctor, etc. What about the last one? Doesn't have to do with any family member, right? My son doesn't have a job right now. My son is looking for a job right now. Correct. Correct. Yes. Like on number two, right? You say uh, Liz, or you can say Maria, Juana is married to Pedro, right? To Peter. So Peter is her husband. Your husband, right? Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Etc. Like in this one, Frank and Lisa's granddaughter. Isabel is Frank and Elisa. Lisa's granddaughter. So, which means that Frank and, and Lisa are uh, their grandparents, right? Or are Elizabeth, Isabel's Fine. grandparents, right? You can say that. So, it's easier to use these words, right? Family members like dad, daughter, etc. That's actually easier. Nice. So, that being said, let's go back to the main session. But I'm, I'm going to ask you one big favor. Uh, let's see, Lorena, could you help us once we come back with the, with the conversation between the present continuous over there? And I don't know, maybe Mr. Mr. Roberto or Mr. Mauricio. I don't know, maybe you, Mr. Jimenez. With the conversation, if you like. Otherwise, I, I'm going to choose somebody else. But yeah, Lorena is going to help us. Con la conversación del present continuous. The first one, the one. The, the first one, yes. Yeah. All right, when okay. We, you come, when, when we start, that we practice the first one of the session. All right. Roberto? All right, so you're the very first one to come back. <laughs> yeah, yes. I you on time, always. <laughs> you, you <laughs> yeah, I was on time today. You know why? I have I had uh, some chronometers over here on my cell phone and on the computer too. Okay. Yeah, cool. at least at least uh, almost the last day, right? I try to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not kidding. You see over here? Uh, maybe you cannot see it on my screen because it's too bright, right? Yeah, something like that. And, and I featured, if I shared the screen with you, take a look at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we remind, remember that we remind the, the first thing we see and the last thing we, 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 we do. Then That's I'm right. The, the, the first impression, right? First impression, right? Or the last one. Time <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah, all in our memories, right? <laughs> nice. All right. So thank you so much. So Lorena, help us, please, if you don't mind, uh, practice the first conversation with uh, with um, 
Roberto, and this is the one. Okay. I'm going to enjoy. Okay. You look, yeah. you, you look tired, Don. Are you studying late at night today? No, I'm not. My brother and sister are. Uh, are you staying? She's staying with, with me right now. We go to bed after midnight every night. Really? What are they doing, Gutamo? Are they taking classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is in vacation now, but the but he's looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? Is she working? Yes. She is she has a part-time job at the university. What about your what about you, Joel? Are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. I'm studying in two languages. Oh, he's a. Uh, she's she's taking French and Spanish are again. Are you? Are you? Are you taking? Oh, oh, you're. Uh, oh, you're taking French and Spanish again. Well, I'm taking Spanish again. But I'm saying I'm studying Japanese. Mm -hmm. Really? That's exciting. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is exciting, right? That's great, right? That, that, that Joel is studying a lot of languages, right? That's good, right? So uh, that was good. Vacation, remember. Vay, 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 vay. Vacation. 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 Right? We don't okay. say vacation and we don't say anything else over there. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Appreciate your practice over there. Let's move forward. All right. Let's move forward over here. So just one second. Let's see. All right. No, we're not gonna do this right now because otherwise I'm gonna be ruining the party right now. Let's see what I got in here. We need a party. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. But what I have in here, because I don't really, yeah, this is gonna be, no, let's do the, the, the conversation better. Now, remember last time I told you, I got these listenings from a special place in which a, it's a, a gentleman who lives in the United States. Of course, he's a native speaker and he teaches English over there. He has uh, listening exercises uh, in easy level, intermediate, and also hard or difficult, very difficult. So in this opportunity, and he records the conversation that he has with his uh, children, with his son and daughter about anything. So in this case, the conversation is going to be a date at a school. So he, he was living in Japan when he recorded this, all right? So this is the, the context right now. So you're gonna listen to the conversation between the father and the son. A son which who is I would say like five years old or less or a little bit more. So while you listen to this, while you're listening to this, you're gonna realize that it's difficult to understand what the kid is saying. Because you know he's he's also learning English right now. All right. And let me just show this to you. So you're gonna listen to words like like Taiso Fuku because the context is Japan, like Kiriksu Ray. Uh, and, and that type of stuff over there. But right now, let's try to do the listening individually. I'm going to send the uh, access to you, okay? And that's what I'm doing right now. And as you know, these listenings have a quiz. So try to take the quiz and see how many uh, points you get. And if you want, you can share the score with me. And once you, you finish, I'm gonna split you into the breaker rooms for the last time, I think and then we take it from there, okay? So just one second over here. So first of all, take the quiz, all right? And then uh, you can uh, continue with the conversation over there. Why are, are we sharing this or doing this? Number one, to practice English, and number two, because the conversation has routines, which is the simple present, which is, I would say, the main core of this intermediate program. Because at the end, I would say by tomorrow, 
you should know how to speak in, in uh, like for routines, describe people, describe your actions, your jobs, talk about actions that are happening right now, etc. Okay. So just one moment over here. Let me let me get the, the access over here. I don't share the screen because of uh, copyrighted things. All right. So that's why. So let me just miss it. So we stop this. And uh, all right. You should be able to access this. I'm sending the information both in WhatsApp and also in the Zoom chat right now. All right. And please let me know if it's actually working because that's the purpose of it. Maybe you're better at listening than me because it was difficult for me to understand what the kid was saying. All right. So try to be careful with that. Yeah, it's work. All right, so you can share the, uh, I mean, the score you get whenever you're ready. Remember that you can listen uh, to this one, two, or three times, so it doesn't uh, really matter, All right? So just one second. I make a mistake in one. <laughs> okay, only one. All right. Only one. That's good. That's good. That's good. But like like we said over here, was that an honest mistake? Honest mistake means that you know the you knew the answer, but just because you didn't uh, see the letter correctly, you marked B instead of C or something like that, or it's because you actually didn't get it. Please. Yes, that we, when, when you make a mistake uh, on something and you know the answer or you know the answer, we say uh, that's an honest mistake because you didn't do it on purpose. All right. Okay. Yes. But I see your point over there. So just one second.
you know, uh, uh, for me, and just to give you my, my opinion, I find this conversation interesting and I would say maybe cute, that's the word, you know, a conversation uh, between a father and a son, right? Like the way he speaks and that he, he's very innocent, right? He's very innocent. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. But we need to put attention to the to the child because your voice, I don't know. Yeah, the voice is like, yeah, dad. Yeah. Just like that, right? <laughs> He's sweet, right? He doesn't articulate well, okay? So you see, it's normal, you know. So right now, we're just this, this uh, little kid, you know, learning English right now. We're just mm -hmm. like him. <laughs> In a <Yeah>. way, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, but we're not talking about the movie, right? That's something else. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let me send to you the uh, the script, if you have it over there, because uh, I don't want to get you confused. Okay. Um, so you can start practicing. But before you practice, let's try to go over the responses over here. And right now, Frank, yes, I'm going to ask you as a favor to to help us. You know, number one, this is the response. Number two, number three. But uh, let, me, let me share the screen with everybody. So that's easy for you. Um, there you go. All right, a data school, Japanese school. Okay. Number one, how does Joshua go to school in Japan? Uh, he walks, he walks uh, with a uh, road or the students. Yeah, that's right. I remember the father asked, the father asks, uh, do you take the bus or something like that? And then he says that he waits the group or something. It's a little bit confusing. Number two, Frank, which item did Joshua not take to school? A uh, school hat. A uh, school hat, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, let's move forward over here. So the first one is this one. Number two is a school hat. Number three, what does Josh do first when he gets to school? He stands and bows to the teacher. Mm -hmm. And he says the Spanish, the, the Japanese word, right? Yes, he, he does it in, in Japanese. So they say something more. Like okay, get to significa llegar a. You may say uh, the first thing I do when I get home is I, I take off my shoes. All right. Get to means llegar a or arribar, arrive at. All right. Let's next one, right? Where, where does Joshua eat lunch at school? In his classroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. And Joshua probably gets home from school between. 2 and 3 p.m. 2 and 3 p.m. This is a very common schedule in the United States as well. Same as in Japan, you know, full-time students. Okay. Because, you know, at the school I work, they have this uh, uh, American schedule because we finish the school year in June and we have all the vacation from June 15 until August the 8th. All right. And... Uh, my schedule is from 1 p.m. until 3.30 p.m., you know, in high school. So that's his schedule. So that's why I can relate with this. All right. Now, let's go ahead, please, and try to practice this conversation. I just shared this with you. One of you is going to be Randall, and the other one is going to be uh, the uh, dear Joshua, sweet Joshua. All right. I sent the, the script to you already. So let, let me uh, open the, the breaker rooms right away all right so just one second oh i'm sorry let me just go no. all right so rooms are open okay Anna, uh, you're with Frank, uh, Rosa with Jeanette, Anna with Noemi, Anna Ruth, Ernesto with Roberto, Jacqueline with Carla, ex, and then we have uh, Fernando with Lorena and Mauricio. Uh, you are alone, but let me send you with somebody else. All right.
¿Cuál fue el, en la segunda pregunta? Dice, which item did Joshua not take at to school? A hat. A hat. hat. School, a school hat. hat. Yes. A school hat. Thank you, teacher. In this case, a hat can mean a sombrero or it could mean una gorra. Cachucha. So oh. it, it, it depends. It depends. Toma clases a las ocho. Eight o'clock, dice nada más. Uh -huh. What does George the first when he he gets to school? Uh -huh. What's the first thing that he does when he gets to school? Cuando llega, ¿qué es lo primero que hace? Tira el bolsón por allá. ¿Verdad? And it's his stance and bows to the teacher. He studies in Japan. Entonces, in Japan, you do this. You bow, right? You bow, you do this. Bow. Like long time ago, right? Cuando le decíamos, buenos días, le de Dios. Mm -hmm. You know, you used to say that, right? But not yes. anymore. Okay. Yes. Where does she... La otra. Where does Joshua eat lunch at the school? In his classroom. ¿Qué hora In his es? classroom, yes. Donde, donde almuerza. Donde where almuerza. Does, where does he eat lunch? In his In classroom. His classroom, yes. And Joshua probably Joshua gets home. probably gets home. Home. School between. O sea, ¿qué hora llega a la casa? Uh-huh. What time he gets home? Probably between 2 and 3 p.m. 2 and 3 p.m. In the United States and also in these countries, the school finishes around 3 p.m. A las dos y media, algo así, terminan clases. They finish classes at 2.30 and then they take the bus. Or you, as a parent, uh, pick, uh, pick your uh, children at a school and then you take them home. That's the way it is. O los pasa a recoger o se van en bus. That's the way it is. Wow. Now, uh, let's practice. Let's, you're very welcome. Let's okay. practice this conversation. Okay. Randall and uh, sweet okay. Joshua. Okay. Uh, just Hello. Go. Hello. But, Today, uh, now, what kind of thing do you take to school? I take my Taisofuku, that is a gym clothes, and I take my backpack and my books and stuff like that. Okay, uh, what is the things we do when we get to school? We do Cripsu Ray. You're welcome. Okay. La inversión. ¿Cómo no sé? Yes. La... Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, hello, today I am interviews Joshua O. Oh. On his experience, going, experience going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to a school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself? Do you have a lunch room or cafeteria? No. We eat in our classroom. Do you eat in your classroom? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. Now, what, what time do you come home from school? We come home sometimes at 3 and sometimes at 2 p.m. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Joshua. You're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good conversation, right? Son and father. <laughs> that's nice. But you see a lot of information, you know, like a spoon by a spoon, right? Cuchara por cuchara, little by little, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, tomorrow we're going to practice a conversation also between uh, Randall, which is the father, and his daughter. And then he's going to ask him, I think I haven't practiced that with you yet. And it's gonna be very interesting and funny too. You're gonna see that, all right? But right now we gotta go back to the main session because it's time to say good night. Yes. <laughs>
and, and you know, uh, the first thing we're gonna do tomorrow is to uh, practice this in front of the class. So I'll be choosing two volunteers so you can uh, exemplify this and then we will continue. You know, we will continue this. Uh, we will continue with uh, simple present, et cetera. And then yesterday we practiced these quantifiers and then some other uh, conversations that I have. You see, uh, son and father again. And Thank some other. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the main station. <laughs> nice. Okay. All right, so we gotta wait a couple of seconds. Yeah, the, you know your 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 uh, classmates are exciting, right? Participating, everything, more or less. So that's why they don't want to come back. <laughs> or maybe, or maybe they left already. No, just kidding. <laughs> he has kidding over here. All right, so everyone, it's time to say goodbye. You know, penultimate day, penultimate. You know. And then tomorrow it will be like this TV program in channel four, Unayama se apagó, right? <laughs> All right, so hope you rest well tonight and hope to see you tomorrow, right? We're gonna keep on practicing. Okay. All right. I need I need learning Japanese. Yeah, we need to learn <laughs> Japanese, right? <laughs> yes. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Good night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.